In this video, I would like to show how the Preston Pressure airspeed and altimeters compare to the Menser 8201 air data test set, which is used to control the air pressure in order to calibrate pedostatic air data testers. Uh, at the moment, the altitude here is going to go to 2,500 feet at a vertical speed of 2,000 feet per minute and we're going to see that here. And the vertical speed this one is showing 2,190, 2,190 It's having a hard time getting the lower 2,000 feet per minute, but this is tracking what the controller is doing uh, quite well in almost real time. There we go, 2,500 feet, 2,500, 501. Now we'll go to 5,000 feet. And we'll put the VSI at 3,000 feet per minute. Again, the VSI tracks very close. The VSI also we need to remember is it's trying to lock in on a moving target. The altitude is constantly moving and not even moving steadily. And so you'll always have some bouncing around, especially in a non-mechanical digital system. But it does a pretty good job as compared to the pressure standard. Very good, here we are at 5,000 feet, 4,998, and let's go up at 6,000 feet per minute now, just to speed things up, and we'll go to 10,000 feet. There we have 10,000 feet and 10,000 and we'll go up at 9,950 feet per minute now to 15,000 feet. Now this display is limited to four digits here. Ordinarily we would not exceed 6,000 feet per minute in an aircraft anyway because of the limitations of the mechanical vertical speed indicators. But because it's a digital, we can go any speed we want to. The sensor is solid state, so it does not care. Uh, but the display here is limited to four digits, and so anything past from 10,000 and above, it's going to drop. It's going to lose this last d digit. Okay, there we are, 15,000 feet. Now let's go up at uh, 20,000 feet per minute. Oops. 
20,000 and go to 20,000 feet. It is 20,000 and practically 20,000. Now we'll go up to 40,000 feet per minute just to speed things up. And we'll go to 30,000 feet. There we have it, 30,000, and it's within one foot at 30,000 feet. Now let's go on up to 35,000 feet. This is a 35,000 foot altimeter. Thirty-five thousand feet and it's within four or five feet at that altitude. All right, I'll push vent. With, it'll take a little bit to get, come back down to um, ambient air pressure and then we can work on the altim on the airspeed side. Very good. Now we're back at sea level and I will set the airspeed to, well it just started at 20 knots. And 20 knots is the minimum this will indicate so it's just, it's right on the edge so it's having a hard time. If I put it on 21 knots it will do a little better. Now uh, 30 knots and 40 and 50 and 75 whoops 75 and 100 150 there it is 250 There's the 250, now 350, 350 knots. Very good.
Now 400 knots. 500 knots is next. And 650 knots. This is a 650 knot capability airspeed indicator. So it's within less than one knot at 650 knots. Now we'll bring it back down to 100 knots. While we're waiting, I should mention that this, both of these units have a leak check function. If you push the leak check button, it goes to a display starting at 120 seconds and if you push the button underneath the start it will start counting counting down the seconds and it will keep track of any altitude change or in this case it would be the airspeed change and to exit the function you push the exit button and goes back to the original display another feature it has is if when you activate the display it goes to 120 if you don't want to do a two minute test you can press the leak check button again it will deduct 30 seconds to 90 that's a minute and a half or 60 seconds or you can do as little as 30 seconds beyond that it will not reduce and then you start your leak test of course it's only changing altitude the air, the I mean airspeed. It is not changing altitude, so that's not a relevant test right now. Very good. Now the airspeed has returned to 100 knots, and we'll go back down to 50. Fifty knots, and vent back to ambient air. Well, there you have it. This is a demonstration of how the press and pressure digital instruments compare to the air data test set that is used for calibration. For more information, you can go to pressandpressure.com. You can download our manuals and see more specifications for these units. Thank you for watching.